Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and in today's video I'm going to talk about the IP helper. In previous video, in tutorial number 14, you learned how to set up the DHCP server on your Cisco device. But mostly in a real world environment, uh, we are using the third party DHCP like, for example, Windows Server DHCP Server. And you may wonder how the one DHCP server, like what we got here, is served the different DHCP scope for different segments in your network. Let's review this scenario. First of all, we got the one core switch here, 3560 series, and this connected to the four different switches. One of them is connected to the server VLAN. VLAN 10 with the network of 1010.00/24, and we got one DHCP server here with the IP address of the 1010.0.10, and we also got three different VLANs and segments here: IT department with the VLAN 10, sales department VLAN 30, and financial department with VLAN 40, and with the representative IP addresses for each of them. As you can see, our clients are scattered among the networks in different department you can assume each of these switches is located in a different floor of the one building and all of them are connected via the trunk link to the core switch here dot 250 is the IP address of the SVI or interface VLAN IP addressing on a core switch and I just connect the switches to the core switch and I don't apply any configuration yet so let's begin of the configuration so click on a core switch, go to the command line, press enter, just enable the switch, you will learn how to work with this in this video. Go to global configuration mode. Let's start with the defining the VLAN first of all. Okay, VLAN 10 is name server segment. VLAN 20, name is IT department, VLAN 30 with the name of sales, and finally VLAN 40 name I just put it finance that's very good so let's zoom for you see the commands just to define the VLAN and each name for the VLANs do show VLAN here we go yes or all VLANs are here VLAN 10 20 30 and 40 so I connect uh, with the very basic configuration here as you can see just plug the passage on net 0 slash 1 to the uplink you can see here is all the one, two, three, four here, and the other side is the FA0 slash one and it's trunk. And continue with the configuration interface FA0 slash well, let's do the range, interface range, and let's see it make sure that you see that thing. Exit interface range FA0 slash one to four and switch mode. Trunk, okay, I think uh, this is a layer 3, so we have to trunk encapsulation. And what option we got is a dot one Q only, okay. And switch port, switch port mode, trunk, okay. All four interface are became trunk port, and as you can see, it went down and coming up. Let's define the SVI interface VLAN 10, okay. IP address 10.10.0.250 with the subnet of 255.255.255.0 interface VLAN 20 and using the just up arrow key and just modify the previous setting interface VLAN 30 up arrow and using the 30 and finally interface VLAN 40 with the IP address of 10.40.0.250 with the subnet mask of slash 24. So let's do show IP interface brief to see as which interfaces are up. Our four main trunk interfaces are up here. And here we go. Interface VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 40 all up with the IP address we got here. Okay, so this is almost done. The configuration on a core switch. Let's see from the packet tracer perspective. You in real world 
environment you don't have such option but Peg Tracer easily shows the configuration of each switch for you all the VLANs are up the trunk trunk are also created let's start with the switch 0 okay very fast just continue very fast config T interface is to 1 switch port mode trunk okay and we just need the VLAN 10 name is server segment and show VLAN we got and as you can see we couldn't see the FA 0 slash 1 because it's trunk and the VLAN 10 is defined on a server segment switch let's go with this switch on level 3 for example enable switch con T let's start with the VLAN let's say for example we got the VLAN 20 here and name is IT we got VLAN 30 in this floor name is sales and interface FA0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk this is uplink to the core switch and interface FA0 slash 10 I just connected to the VLAN 20 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 on a green VLAN 20 and interface FA0 slash 15 I just following the same pattern for all switches FA0 slash 10 green or VLAN 20 network FA0 slash 15 if any VLAN 30 and interface FA0 slash 20 connected to the VLAN 40 so switch port mode access and switch for excess VLAN 30 here. Okay, we are almost done. Let's take a look at the VLAN here. Yes, we got the VLAN 20, VLAN 30, FA0 slash 10, and FA0 slash 15, and FA0 slash 1 is a trunk. So let's go to the level 2 switch. Do the same configuration. Enable config T, VLAN 40. We got VLAN 40 here. Name finance. Okay, VLAN 30 and 20. Okay, sorry, no 30. Name is IT. And I do show VLAN. Yep, it's created. So interface FA slash 1, switch port mode trunk. Here in this 2960 switch, we don't have any encapsulation. But as you just seen, is a 3560 use the switch port trunk encapsulation for your trunk port. So trunk is ready and let's go to configuration the access port FA0 slash 10 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 okay VLAN 20 yes interface FA0 slash 20 easily you can see check with the packet tracer where you connected is a 20 is connected to the VLAN 40 so assume that interface is 20 but as I mentioned I just following the same concept for all the switches switch port mode access so combine two command switch port access VLAN 40 and finally let's do the show VLAN and see what we got here here we go yeah we got the IT okay 10 finance 20 correct and let's go so and configure the final switch switch 3 go to the command line enable the switch global configuration mode create the VLAN since we got all the VLANs here we just create all the VLAN 20 VLAN 30 name sales and the VLAN 40 name is finance Nance, yes and interface FA0 slash 1 uplink switch port mode trunk we want to carry all the tagged VLAN and interface FA0 slash 10 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 interface FA0 slash 15 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 15 oh, sorry VLAN 2 and interface FA slash 20 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 40 so show VLAN and let's see what we got here yes okay FA slash 0 slash 1 is trunk 
VLAN 20, 30, 40, IT sales and finance, and the interface are 10, 15, and 20, which are connected to each of these PCs here. And as you can see, the colors are different totally. So waiting for is coming up. So let's go and configure the DHCP server here. The IP address of the DHCP is 10.10.0.10. We manually config that. Okay, usually you set the static address for your main servers. Here's a 255.255.255.24. I just put the gateway as a switch. We just create and for DNS we can let's use the Google DNS 8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And here we go. And IP config. Yes, ping 10.10.0.250. Let's try. Can we ping our gateway or not? Okay, waiting for a while and see where the problem is exactly. Okay, it's something. I'm sure this problem must be here. 10.10. .10. Let's try and see what interface we configure here. You go to the switch, main switch, and is it 10.0.255? Okay, let me check this one. Oh, we forget to assign the interface in a VLAN 10 here. So, interface FA, okay, global configuration mode before going to interface, interface FA 0 slash 10, switch port mode, access, switch port, access, VLAN. 10 to show VLAN. Yes, here we go. I expect that this time when this port is coming up, we can see the ping. Okay, just do the continuous ping, waiting for a port to come up. You can use the port pass also. You've learned this previously. Very easy. Because timeout is a port is still not coming up yet on the way. And the uh, case takes time, but it just doesn't really matter. The case come up, and I expect that this time received some reply from the gateway. Okay, working nicely, and it's time to configure the DHCP server. So, to set up the DHCP server, click on a server, go to the service tab, go to DHCP. Let me make it a bit bigger. You can see clearly the DHCP setting section. Okay, interface is a fast Ethernet. Zero because we got only one interface and NIC on a this server. You can add more than one NIC on this. Turn on the DHCP and let's add the, start with the IT department. I'm not going to uh, set up any DHCP for server segment. We're going for the setting up the IT. Cool name is IT. Default gateway is 10.20.0.250. DNS server, you can set anything you want. I just put 8888. Start IP address. Okay, the so ten twenty zero. Let's start from ten, for example. Subnet is twenty four maximum, and let's serve for twenty. If the server we don't need, and just edit. So next one is a sales department DTP pool. Default gateway will be ten thirty VLAN thirty, and start with the thirty. 0 0.10, 20 address should be okay. And finally, the finance department for VLAN 40. Okay, here we go 40 and 20 for this one. And finally, you need to save it. So, as you can see here, we got different DHCP pools IT, sales, and finance. And we represent the IP address here, which map to our VLANs. And all the IP addresses are start from the 10. So let's go and do some exercise here. So far, we config this core switch. All the access layer switches are set up. Also, DHCP is ready. And let's try first of all before we enabling IP helper. Well, how does it work really? We go to the desktop, go to the IP configuration. When we enable the DHCP or PC. We'll send a request to the DHCP server, and if find a DHCP server with the broadcast, the DHCP will reply with the uh, suggested IP address. And if the PC agrees, it can accept that. When I go to enable the DHCP, is request the IP address. 
and as we expected it must be fail and this this PC get they just automatically private IP address or IPPA address which is used as address is 169.254 range and it doesn't work because by default this PC is located in different VLAN than a TTP server how we can fix this we need to go to our core switch enable show IP interface brief again I just want to show you double check we got VLAN 20, we just IP address and I just show run interface VLAN 20. Let's see, it doesn't work in packet tracer, but just use the show run and show you how the configuration are here. Here we go. We just got the interface VLAN and the IP address. That's it. So what we're doing is a global configuration mode, interface VLAN 20, interface VLAN 20, and IP with the helper address okay and use a question mark is a, you can add the destination IP address which is the IP address of our DHCP server here using the 10.10.0.10 .10 and here we go so we add the IP helper address to the interface VLAN 20 we do the same things for other VLAN interfaces also okay use the upper arrow key interface VLAN T and the address is 10. So let's check the run again. This time you can see there is a slight difference. We not only have the IP address but also have the IP helper address here, which is our DHCP server for all interface VLAN. So now we expect that to get the, some IP addresses. And when we enable the DHCP, the DHCP request successfully. And you start to getting the IP addresses from the previous set range is a 10.20.0.10. We ask the DHCP server to start from the 10 address. And as you can see, the default gateway and DNS also automatically assigned to the with the subnet assigned automatically to the PC here. Let's try the all other client here. Enable DHCP. I expect it to get the 10.30. And as you can see, with one DHCP, we can serve different IP addresses pooled here let's enable very fast in all of them 1020.1040 is a VLAN 40 1040.0.10 so all three pools are working nicely let's enable the second client in that range is a 1020.11 the first one was 10 it's clearly you can see and finally let's enable here as well DACP requests and the request the switch IP interface process the helper and sending the request to the IP DHCP server and DHCP server send back the request 11 here we got VLAN 40 again we expected to get here also without any issue so here we go finally with this PC and easily automatically very fast and efficient way we have one DHCP that serve the IP address for entire network for us. I hope this video is informative for you. Please subscribe and share our video among your IT friends. And see you soon. Thank you very much.